Ultrasound imaging is a very interesting image modality and for many indications and especially in emergency care. For instance, in neuro neurology, you can really diagnose a neuro neurological incidence, uh, but for doing that, you need the, the operator to be a real expert in the field. And this is not always the case, for instance, in emergency in remote locations. And therefore, it is needed to have a telemedicine application, which allows the local uh, manipulator to uh, request the help of an expert remotely. In order for you to understand the image, you need to, to know really where the probe is. If you take a normal ultrasound probe and the operator positions it on the, on the body, you really have to know where it is to understand the images that are displayed on the screen. And therefore it is needed, if we use a telemedicine application, to really allow the remote expert to visualize the position of the probe on the, on the patient. And that's what we have developed. Actually what we have done is that we have equipped a normal ultrasound probe with markers that are visible by a tracking system. A tracking system allows to position this object in 3D with respect to the patient. And this 3D position captured by the tracking system is then reported on the remote side on a 3D model of the patient, allowing the remote expert to really visualize the position of the probe next to the image of the ultrasound. And the software that we have developed here at EPFL uh, allows to first uh, do the, the telemedicine, so see the remote image, but also uh, we have developed a system allowing the remote expert to clearly indicate the movement that he wants to see done by the local uh, manipulator, the movement of the probe. Moreover, this technology is further developed and we have uh, different projects, for instance in neurosurgery, to do minimally invasive surgery with that kind of optical tracking uh, technology that we integrate and develop and integrate with our image processing techniques uh, for many other projects.